It's hydrosyl BKC, stands for benzyl corneum chloride, which is a quaternary material known for years, many years, to inhibit the growth of bacteria and even kill bacteria and viruses. The product itself, hydrosyl, is clear, compatible with most of the water-based platforms. It kills immediately a wide range of pathogen, and it can prolong the protection. The release is triggered with water after the film has been formed, after the product gets dried out. We know that only one out of five is actually washing. The rest are not really washing the hands. Uh, and only 30% of the people actually use soap to wash their hands. And we know that corona is spreading mostly by liquid, droplets, hand touch, and so on. So what's special about this? This is a color changing hand wash and also an antiseptic technology. So the color change with rubbing used as an indicator for sufficient rubbing time. So look at the formula. What's interesting about this formula? First of all, it's a very simple formula. We are using two technologies. The yellow gold is typically the antiseptic. This is using BKC in order to kill bacteria immediately and to have the option to release later on. And also we use cell color effects. These are microspheres that are able to change the color from initial color of white to green, okay? Now, the rest of the formula is pretty simple. We have about 65% water. We have a thickener, xanthan gum, of course, glycerin, and we have two different botanicals that add to the moisturization of the product. Our first step in creating our hydrocell BKC wash will be to premix the xanthan gum with glycerin. This will help to wet the polymer and make it disperse very easily within the water. And the xanthan gum is going to be our water phase thickener in this formulation. Now that the xanthan gum has been well dispersed within the glycerin, it can be added to the water. This should thicken the water slightly, so the propeller speed may need to be increased to ensure its uniformity. Our next ingredient will be aloe vera gel liquid, which has been decolorized so it is clear. And what this will do for our final formulation is give it very strong moisturizing effects and it will soothe the skin and rejuvenate the skin as well. Our next ingredient will be witch hazel extract and what this does is acts as a skin conditioning agent to help reduce the flakiness on the skin and improves the appearance of dry and damaged skin. Our next ingredient is cocomitopropyl betaine which is a, our primary surfactant within this formulation. And this classic foam boosting surfactant uh, can reduce the irritation that classic ionic surfactants would normally cause. Now we will add the first of our two technologies, hydrocell BKC. And this is our encapsulated benzylconium chloride, which allows for the time release and longer lasting effects of benzylconium chloride. It can be reactivated long after its initial application when it is exposed to moisture. Now that we only have to add our encapsulated pigment, Sal Color FX, this hydrocell BKC wash could be sold as is as a nice foaming hand wash. But what we are adding is our encapsulated pigments that release the inner color of the encapsulation when the action of washing your hands occurs. So as you can see, it makes our wash a little bit lighter or gives it a white tint. But when it is applied to the skin and you begin washing your hands, it will release the inner green pigment. This is our Hydrosal BKC wash with Sal Color FX white to green. As you can see, it has the normal consistency of a hand wash, and you can see the beads are suspended within it. This is what the application of the wash will look like. A normal amount is used. You begin to lather it between your hands, and the Sal Color FX beads can actually act as a bit of an abrasing agent here and it will help to cleanse the skin. And as you can see, as it is rubbed in, the foam will change from a white to a green color. 
This formulation leaves the skin feeling soft and smooth. So um, we suggest to use a tube for this kind of product with the orifice that is wide enough, like eight millimeter, in order to deliver the base. Um, push uh, bottoms may not be used unless they have a bigger orifice. Uh, otherwise, because of the pressure, the particles may release and change the color before it reaches the hands, just because of the pump. So a correct pump is essential. If you don't have a correct pump, a tube would be a recommended packaging for this kind of product. How to use the product is very simple, as you could see. Uh, apply the product as a liquid, spread it well, and rub until the green color appears. Continue to rub it to cover all the area of the hands. So you can see between the fingers and other uh, hidden places.